What's up guys, it's RJ with Road Celebrity Future Media Management. I am trying homeless, this is the second recording. Um, I'm in the woods right now, not too far away from the mall. Let's see if we can get a shot, of, yeah you can see the mall back behind me there. Uh, sort of focused, sort of not. But I just kind of came up the road here off into the woods to, uh, I'm gonna take a pee in a minute. But I also thought it'd be a good place to do a quick video and uh, you know, go through my stuff and organize things and do whatnot. So quick update, we posted a blog post over at Road to Liberty um, from one of our new guest writers uh, who is um, anonymous. Um, and anyway, go over to Road to Liberty. There is a, uh, a good piece over there um, about the Trans-Pacific Partnership and what that means and how that's kind of being kept under wraps. In terms of me out here on the road, not too much has transpired. I, um, I did my stint at Starbucks for about two hours, charged the laptop, um, did the blog post, checked on the sites, checked on everything, and I uploaded uh, the first video. And so it's still Sunday right now around 1.50 p.m. I was actually thinking it'd be cool right over here between these lines of trees to set up a fort, like where those sticks are. A fort! <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe try to like make that a place to stay for the night. I'm not gonna do that because one, I'm still in Eaton Town. I wanna travel more. Two, uh, there's a lot of noise it's right by the mall. It's not really private enough to really set up a uh, base if I wanted to set up a base. I'm really thankful I have my new computer that I got like about six months ago because my old one would not cut it for, for this kind of work. And, um, you know, taking up a ton of space to actually uh, record these videos. So I got to record them, upload them, edit them, all that, and then erase the uh, the original file. So a little behind the scenes information. Um, why am I doing this? Why am I going on the road? Why am I choosing homeless? Um, so a lot of people might ask and say, hey, you know, maybe he's just doing this, not ask or just say, whatever, that, you know, I'm doing this because, you know, I don't have any money or I don't have anyone that wants to, you know, give me a place to stay or, you know, maybe, I don't know, I feel bad for myself, I'm looking for attention, something like any of those things or some of those things. And, um, you know, I think the only one of those that really holds true, I mean, I do have less money than I want to have, but I don't have, I have enough money to, to put a roof over my head, you know? Um, not by a lot, but I have enough uh, to put a roof over my head. And um, what I don't have is the justification, right? So. If it costs me, let's just say, for a round number, $200 a week to have a bed to sleep in and a roof over my head and a shower, well, you know, you do the math, that's like um, $28, $29 a day. Um, that's definitely, almost definitely probably more than a food budget if you're conservative in how you eat in a day. And, you know, like today so far, I had a coffee and I bought um, a charger for my phone for $12. So I'm at $13 spent in the day. If I was staying at a hotel or even paying rent somewhere for a thousand a month or 800 a month or whatever, I would be paying 30 or $40 to sleep tonight. Whereas last night I slept, interestingly enough, let me talk about that for a second too, uh, for free though. I, talk, I slept for free uh, last night. Um, I slept in two places. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be careful not to incriminate myself. Um, I slept in between a bunch of cars in a car lot. Um, no one's gonna file suit because I'm not gonna say which one right now. But um, I was, just, I found like the inventory lot behind, way behind the dealership, way back on some rocks, and uh, where all the cars get your stash when they come off the truck. And I laid between uh, a couple cars in the rocks. I used my my backpack and uh, it's my backpack by the way, and um, my jacket as like a pillow. And I got about two hours of rest there. Um, came to sort of around daybreak and I was cold for one I was cold and two I was still too tired so I was too tired to fall back asleep cold and it was daybreak and I, I wanted to get to I figure the later the day goes if I stayed there since I've, I was on private property um, and we should get to how I feel about this as a libertarian too um, but I was on private property so I didn't want to get in trouble for trespassing and um, so then I actually trespassed it further um, so libertarians you know go, go at me here um, I slept inside of a vehicle that was for sale on a car lot that was left open I used to sell cars for a long time and I know that the ones up front usually closest to the highway the ones that get moved around the most 
usually have a door open, the side door, the back door, the front door, all of the doors. So it was a nice size SUV. I um, reclined the middle row seat so that the back and the middle were like a bed. And um, other than maybe a little bit of dirt on the carpet, which happens anyway in the dealership life, I didn't affect the car negatively in any way. I didn't vandalize it or otherwise desecrate it. Um, so we can go there later if you guys want um, my volunteers people, but I'm telling this for the for the vagabond people, the, the try homeless people, um, you know, that's one thing. If you need a roof over your head and you want a comfortable place to sleep, I, I got three or four hours of shut eye last night laying in the back of, um, I won't say what kind of luxury vehicle it was, but a nice vehicle. So not that, not that bad. Um, what are we at right now at this video? Six minutes getting to where we're, we're not going to keep, we're not going to let any of these videos really get over 10 minutes. Uh, this is not a podcast. This is more of like a episodic adventure where you might get one or two or three of these things a day. So uh, I'll try to do one more later um, when I find where I'm going to sleep, if I have the adequate battery and, uh, you know, cover to, to, to do this, which I think I will. Um, I'm going to throw one more thing at you guys and just say thank you if you're checking this out, if you plan on checking it out and following me. Um, again, I'm trying homeless. You can uh, tweet hashtag try homeless. I'm going to be tweeting about my experience off of a number of different accounts that I control different businesses, different projects, hashtag try homeless. Um, if other people are using the hashtag, great, we'll join a conversation. I don't know, I didn't check yet. That's what I'm going with. And um, I'm going for a seven day pledge. I actually did this, uh, not just last night, but the night before as a trial. So it was like the beta version. So I've technically been sleeping outside of a uh, shelter since the night of Saturday the 16th. But I'm gonna commit that, um, I'm sorry, Friday the 15th. I'm gonna commit to at least you know, until I won't sleep in a bed till at least next Sunday. Um, especially not my own bed. I'm not going to pay for a bed. If someone, if I meet someone and they insist and they're friendly and I feel comfortable, maybe I will stay at someone's house. Uh, that's still kind of homeless though, because it's not my home. So I'm just trying to um, try a lifestyle for a little while where I don't pay for housing. All right, guys, uh, that's the deal. Uh, check back with me and we'll see how this thing goes. All right.